Now, of course, Shazam! Fury of the Gods officially opens today. I don't know if you can tell. I'm a little bit enthusiastic for it. I'm going to be going to see it. Me, Ray, and we're going to go watch it a little bit later this afternoon. Well, you and Ann are going to watch it. Ray's going to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, good news. I forgot. The, the movie's actually at 3 o'clock. Oh. So we're going to... So you'll, oh, you'll be... Oh, crap. That's, that's, so that, that's your nap time. <laughs> 3 a.m. <laughs> so we're going to be going to go see that. And the first reactions came out, and they were good. Like, they weren't as good as the John Wick 4 first reactions, which came out, like, the day before it. But they were solid. They were good. Yeah. And that just makes me excited. Our own Taylor Gonzalez saw mm -hmm. it. He, mm -hmm. he really enjoyed it and liked it. Well, now, the full reviews are out. And unfortunately, the reviews are not as strong as they were for the first Shazam. Now, I love the first Shazam film. Absolutely love it. I think it's got like a 90% critic rating or something in that neighborhood. It's really, really great first uh, critic rating for that first film. Uh, this one is solid, but not nearly as good. Uh, you can go over my screen here. As we can see... With 72 reviews counted, it is still a fresh rating, but 64%. Which, of course, means that out of all the critics who have seen it, the 72 that they've registered so far, 64% of them like the film, 36% of them do not. So uh, it's a, still a clear majority like the film, but it's not being as well received as at first one. And this is bad news because... This movie is already not tracking to do great opening weekend. Now, no surprise, the first one didn't do great at the box office either, and coming off of Black Adam, which also completely underperformed. But it's the tracking numbers have kept going down. Like they initially, the first long distance tracking numbers was maybe like a $50 million opening weekend. Then when the real advanced tracking numbers came out, it was like, well, maybe 42, 43. They went down to like 40. Now some outlets are saying 35, some saying 30 and maybe a little bit less. And the one thing that it was still kind of had maybe going for it was the fact that, well, the reviews. Well, wait, well, the reviews will come out, and maybe the reviews will come out, and they'll, it'll really spur good word of mouth, and more people will come out on opening weekend. Eh, not so much. I mean, again, they're, they're, they're decent. These are decent to good. Ray, a 64 is a decent to good, right? Once you get above 70, you start getting the great, but this is okay. Clear majority of them like him, but not nearly as good as the first one. And it's not high enough to generate that kind of last second buzz that may propel a lot of people to rush out to, and grab their tickets. That happens sometimes. So I'm still very excited about it. I don't care. I'm still excited about it. I cannot wait to go in and watch this movie again. I want to revisit these characters again. But there's no way to spin this. This isn't good news for the movie. Anyway, Rob, we know that the tracking for this movie has not been stellar yeah i don't know that a 64 is going to hurt the tracking but i don't think it's going to help their numbers what do you make of this well I, I i mean i have to tell you it's it's the lead up to this movie you know i watch a lot of other people's youtube channels and youtube clips and they usually have ads for upcoming movies i've seen nary an ad for this film john i mean like on youtube as a platform i would have thought there would be clips there would be a you know a, a scene you know there's nothing and and I'm like, if if I can't get excited by this movie in social media, how, how are other people? And I'm looking. How are people that aren't? You know, how's that advertising dollar being spent where people that didn't know whether or not they were going to see this movie, allowing them to see a clip going, oh, let's go see that this weekend. And uh, it's been weird to me, the lead up to this. It's been, there's no excitement. And I have to say, I'm actually more excited to see this movie now than I was after hearing some of the responses like taylor's response and other people's even christian harloff you know who's on the show obviously he he had positive things to say and I, I, my ex, my excitement's actually gone up i'll be curious to hear what you say i can't decide i might go see it tonight i kind of want to see this movie now apparently there are going to be available seats uh, uh you know according to the tracking i don't think you're gonna have a hard time getting a seat if you go at the last second i feel bad i'm looking forward uh, i'm looking forward to seeing come it. on this yeah. looks dope but that speaking, does look dope that I think that looks great. Like when they, I wasn't big on the first couple of teasers and trailers they put out, but when they brought out the one where he was literally fighting the dragon and throwing through, I thought, like, okay, this is a great trailer. I'm excited about this trailer now, but you're right. Overall, the marketing campaign hasn't been good. A side note, since we're talking about Rotten Tomatoes before I forget, there's a film out there that uh, Taylor really, really likes called uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Yeah. <laughs> and it has now, I believe entered the 100 worst reviewed films on Rotten Tomatoes. I believe it has a 4%. 
So congratulations to Pooh, Blood, and Honey for achieving that. And, uh, and we'll see how it goes. Anyway, guys, the question is for you. What do you think about this? Uh, that Listen, the, the reviews for Shazam 2 are okay. They're pretty good. They're all right. They're, they're perfectly fine, but Speechless. not good enough to bring up those tracking numbers. How do you think this is going to impact the opening weekend, if at all? Where do you think this movie is going to come in opening weekend? Do you see making the 30s, 40s, 50s, lower, higher? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Manscaped. Breaking news, Manscaped now sells beard products. That's right, they are once again revolutionizing men's grooming with the brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Now you can finally use Manscaped products to make your drapes match your carpet by going to manscaped.com and using the code Campia for 20% off and free shipping. It all starts with the Beard Hedger. This thing is a juggernaut of fixing faces. First off, this cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel that gives you 20 hair cutting lengths, all with one guard. So no more messy drawers full of extra add-ons. You also get the beard shampoo and conditioner. Because guys, you gotta remember that all of your hair is different. Your beard hair is more coarse and easier to damage than the hair on your head. Next, the kit has Manscaped's beard oil. The oil relieves dryness both on the beard and the skin beneath. You then cap it off with the Beard Bomb that shapes, styles, moisturizes, and tames for a sculpted look. The Pro Beard Kit also comes with three special gifts, a beard brush, comb, and scissors to ensure your beard is ready to impress. With a nice beard, your face is perfectly groomed, right? Wrong. You need to keep an eye out for those tough to trim ear and nose hairs. The brand new Weed Whacker 2.0 offers improved blades and skin safe technology with a no tugging guarantee. It's never been so painless to mind your manholes. And now that you have your face looking great, you must try Manscaped's Performance Package 4.0 for the full body grooming experience. And good news, the Performance Package 4.0 now comes with the Weed Whacker 2.0 and all of the other below the waist grooming products that Manscaped is known for. Your significant other will be delighted to see you covering all bases, if you know what I mean. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code CAMPIA at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code CAMPIA. Manscaped Beard Hedger, one stroke, one guard, 20 lengths.